Hello and welcome back to another episode of Xenonauts 2. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our blind-ish playthrough on the hardest the difficulty, Iron Man of course. And it's time uh, to go for the next mission. It is time for Operation Crash Side 1. Uh, because there are no good tactical names apparently. We call it Desert Disaster. So this disaster will happen with our combat team going directly there. Shadow Realm is still a bit injured, but other than that, we're good. This time I made sure that we do have enough med kits. Shadow Realm has one, Nick Nick has one, and I changed the loadout for the heavies, essentially giving them a slight bit less armor and a tit bit more uh, med kits. That should not really change a lot for them a bit less flexible because we don't have pistols as offense but it's okay not the end of the world no alien fight was ever decided by bringing normal pistols that's well, just not a really good weapon all right let's commence the tactical battle okay we landed and apparently it is desert who would have thought Oh no, oh no, look at that, new aliens. Short check. Oh wow. Okay, well, okay, this is going to be interesting. Thirty percent uh, reduction. Let's full auto him. At least they are suppressed. Moving up. Okay. That costed us more time units than I would have anticipated. Sniper shot. And I'm not 100% sure why Shadow Realm just decides decided to be suppressed as well. <laughs> he heard the shots and he's like, nah, I'm not going to do that. Okay. Sucks, but it is what it is. Okay, well, let's hunker down. That was our one grenade. And I felt really good before seeing it go completely astray. Got some nice little flashbang here. Definitely need to move up. And continuing to move up, actually. Control these guys. Hunker down. cover or in this case remove him moves up and I think we're just going to hunker down a bit Mm -hmm. 
so close. He just doesn't want to go down. Moves up. And let's try to hit him. Not a single one. Alright, that is typical Xenonaut start against uh, stronger aliens. Questioning our life choices. Luckily, there is always a civilian nearby who can take the brunt. Innate regeneration. Okay, we want to focus fire these guys. By the way, should have run. No, no, no. Drop that. Fantastic. Much better. As with our sniper. Finally, the first one goes down. starting to move in standing up That's one shot, and that's two shots. You can't really hit someone if uh, you are standing, is what uh, the tooltip says. But no, we stand corrected. That is not the case. Couple of misses, couple of hits, uh, and suppression. One more down. Using our assault to get to the front line. Very nice. Moving over here. And 
let's kneel down so that we got one more overwatch shot. 36%. It's not going to get much better with overwatch, is it? Shot accuracy, range modifier is okay, target is crouched. Well, it would go up to a 50-50. Yeah, it will go up to a 50-50 if they are no longer crouched. It's okay. Okay, taking the overwatch shots here. Nice hit. And we're reloading high explosive. One more down. And a couple of bursts for good measure. Second one down. Okay, cool. We got that flank well under control. First minor injuries are cured. Let's push on on this other side. We heard shots from back there. Shattered realm gets behind cover. I think we're just going to let that sit for a moment. Okay. Well. This guy was uh, sitting here watching TV. Okay, so that's the whole problem about aliens being a bit sneaky from time to time. Luckily we caught that one out before it happened. Guy is watching TV the entire time, we're moving up. We're like standing here. He's not doing anything, it's just chilling, watching. Human to be good. Okay, well, we're taking cover. I 
trample down. And let's move up. Okay. Moving fully up. Hunker down. hit either or okay Dilly G is a good shot but that would be asking too much on the other hand we can climb up get up here which would be a good sniper position so Tony Roomba is uh, going to do exactly that. End of turn. What a tough crowd of enemies. <clears throat> Okay, we got our actions back. One, two, okay, that other guy went to the rooftop. Interesting choice. We're taking a cheap shot. Enemy's overwatch is partially triggered. Moving up so that we can actually hit this guy once we're ready. Um, listen again from a sniper perspective. Maybe here. It's actually not a bad shot. Like it. Sixty-two. I think we're just going to take the sixty-two. Didn't work out, and we're going back down. Rinse and repeat. We might need a grenade launcher over here just to remove some of the cover. So Uncle Noover changes sides. 
And really what I'm trying to do is to not let uh, anyone, any of the aliens slip through. We're taking a couple of sniper shots and are abusing our longer range and the shields. Has he decided to move away or is that a new guy? Sniper moves all the way up. So does the machine gunner. back into cover okay moving up thirty one percent chance not perfect but better than nothing I guess moves in, we will be able to move around and go there next turn. So you try to regenerate. Okay, well, you can continue to do that for now. Okay, who's left? Doesn't seem sensible at the moment to push into the open here. Specifically, if we can take shots for free, there is no time limit. And bravery oftentimes is not rewarded. Okay, can't, can't reach there. Let's just sunk her down. Sniper moves in, takes a look. Hits, moves away. Sniper moves up, takes a look, uh, decides to reload. And actually stay up here because it makes it easier. More little salvo. Didn't kill, but enough to scare them away. And I think we're just going to stay where we are. This side here looks solid. There are very likely only two more of them left. I saw one of them carry a plasma pistol, which will not have the necessary range to go toe to toe with us.
right, here we go. That solves this problem. Good, and we are slowly but surely progressing. Moving up. Ooh. That's a lot of enemies. Moving down. I don't want to deal with that many enemies. Instead, we're letting them come to us. Second sniper moves up, we soon need to reload. So can't just go ahead. Careful advancements. Okay, cool. And turn. Good. Many more enemies, but we should be fine. Okay, needed to take a small break back. We I think we had two here and one over here. That's highly interesting. Hundred percent shot, I like that. I like the sound of a hundred percent shot. Bam. Take that. Fortunately you can't have two sniper shots in one round. That is indeed very unfortunate. But you can reload and not take a second shot. Yeah, great. Oh, way out of range. Not good. No, too far away. We know there are two of them there. zero percent not happening but I can tell you what is happening okay 
Well, well, well. Yeah, Shattered Realm. Let's just remove all of the cover here. There we go, enemy spotted. It's too far away. But we can still suppress it. Couple of shots, couple of misses, but unfortunately not suppressed. Anders moves up, Uncle's down. chance of hitting and it's too far away this could be a kill but it is at least a nice suppression. Okay, well, going to take some shots. He has a nice little small gun. And we know there is one here and this is a new one. Okay. Well, the healing certainly is a problem. Let's get this guy. It's one hit. Two hits. up and a blast from the past for you bam there you go that guy is toast yeah no we're not shooting Unless we know that we actually are going to kill him. It's too far away. I love, I love the high ground here, but it is too far away. Okay, didn't work, but at least we show him that he can't just stand there. Moves down. Just double checking that there is no other alien here. Okay, cool. Hmm. 
Now we're just going to continue to stay here. For now it's fine. Maybe need more sniper ammunition the next time. Okay, shield is gone. This guy sacrifices himself. Let's start over here. Good shot. Two salvos. Did not really hit him. But that took care of the problem. Heavy gun moves up. Luckily, we are exactly unscathed, uh, so... Let's see if uh, that guy has a nice little alien weapon that we can use. Shotgun moves up. Okay, we're going to grenade uh, the living hell out of this guy soon. I think a sniper should, both snipers actually should be okay. End of turn. And she should have put the shield further to the front. Okay, I can see a little trick here. Good. Sniper brought him down, down to one bullet. We have enough. And yeah, we still got some more ammunition left over. Okay. We got one more grenade. Not wasted. More soldiers are moving forward. In this case, Zoe. here so that we do have clearer uh, vision. Jim is ready. Nice. What is that? Alien machine rifle. Alien magnetical rifle. Sorry. 
Alright, are you telling me we have not enough action points? No, that can't be it. Civilian soldier, okay. Okay, well, we secured that weapon, but can't use it, apparently. It is reloaded now. It's not a secondary weapon, is it? No. Okay, well... I would, if I was to take a, if I was a betting man, I would say it's potentially either because we didn't have time units left over, or because we haven't researched it. But the magnetic stuff we should have researched by now. I want to shoot a grenade straight into that thing. Shattered Realm moves up. can't we can't get that fair enough which means we only have a pistol end of turn I knew it. I must be somewhere over there. Good. Next turn, we're going to make your life a living hell. smoke and very soon I'm going to smoke that thing out smoke rounds reloaded Okay, can we get it? New. No. So he moves up here. And gives him a love tap as well. And he is now suppressed. I don't like that. Okay. 
shotgun shot was missing. I don't know if that here is going to hit. No, it's not, but we do have sniper's support. And we have a couple of pistols. Okay, cool. Look at that. Pistol shot seals the deal. <laughs> okay, that was uh, definitely a bit more tough uh, than just a little sec to it. Okay, after action report. Ooh. We got a new award for bravery. Soldiers will be granted award for bravery for UFO crash site missions. Plus one to everything. Tony Roomba also got the Golden Star. Eliminating a cumulative total of five hostile units across their career. Nice. And Croxolaris, granted Croxolaris if they eliminate four or more hostile units in a single tactical mission. Well, Tony, you certainly got it going for yourself. Plus one, plus one, plus one. So all of the medals essentially are plus one. Good old Crimson Heart for Knickknack. Took 30 points of damage. And you can see <clears throat> that over time, this really seems uh, starts to add up. I mean, it is one, five, seven, nine. It's almost ten uh, stat gains per mission. So after ten missions, the health is substantially higher, accuracy is higher, and on top of it, the um, the ranks will also add f uh, further to that. So. Maybe the additions here come solely from ranks. Maybe I'm I'm uh, double counting that. But I know that the ranks definitely also give extra uh, stats. Plus the highest rank in the team gives everybody a hidden um, bonus to bravery, which is super important. So if you do have a high level soldier, then that means it's going to be better. Good. Alarium is yellow crystalline material that sits in the heart of most recovered alien devices. And civilian, aka mutants. Plus a nice little scout. So we could go for laser weaponry if we so de uh, decided to do that. Alien magnetic weapon. 15. Hmm. And alloys, which we will need. Good. Selling a few items. Not a lot. But enough to get us going with engineering. So at the moment we only have accelerated weapons. I would like to go for accelerated uh, machine guns because that's our next damage dealing item or damage, de uh, damage dealing source. Snipers and machine gunners. Okay, let's slow time and center on the UFO. Launch interceptors. Both look good. So here we go. We are still over land. Elsewise, 
this would be an option. So let's commence an attack. Okay, Angel 1 this time needs to tank a little bit more damage. definitely launch a combat team there but we do have a problem <sighs> that was not good aircraft Overhauling aircraft, nine days, what does that mean? I've never lost an aircraft, so we can rush replace and we need this that takes enough damage in area combat to reduce hit points to zero. It will be forced to disengage immediately and return to base. Cool. Such aircraft will be required to complete a full overhaul, possibly speed up the process. Good. We don't need that yet, but that's an interesting system because it does not require you to always kind of rebuild everything and yeah we're going to do the tactical mission how are our soldiers looking i think we should recruit maybe two more soldiers are there soldiers with kind of acceptable stats because this year is garbage. 37 strength, 37 hit points. Oof. Hmm. I mean, this year looks okay. That year looks even better. This is the complete average soldier in all of the stat categories. These are more extreme. We could get a low strength uh, soldier back, but that's a problem. We could get a low hit point soldier back, but that's equally a problem because they immediately die. Low accuracy wouldn't be too much of an issue if uh, we hand him a shield. So let's get Felix here. Good. Unassigned. And knickknack unassigned. So we're, we have lost a rifleman and a shield. Which immediately begs the question who's going to be the new rifleman? I think this here will do. Anyways, I'll do the detail, uh, the detail equipment, and so on now. And we're going to see each other in the next mission when we are hopefully getting our second UFO. Let's go, boys. Let's go. If you like Xenonauts too, leave a comment and a like down below. I'll show a little bit of support for the game. And if you enjoy it so much so that you want to buy it, there are plenty of options to do so. But there is also an affiliate link with minus 10% cost that also helps out the channel. Anyways, have a good one. And see you soon. Bye-bye.